Hi, I'm Michelle Menegas. I work at Oak Meadow and I teach kindergarten through eighth grade. And I also teach kindergarten through eighth grade. My name is Claudine Kaplan. Today we're going to teach you how to use movement to help your child learn math. Movement helps the children to memorize the math facts through their body. It enlivens them, it gets them in their body, it brings oxygen to their mind and they're ready to do their math. And it also helps kids who are anxious about math to realize it's fun and they can learn it much more easily than they think. We'll start by practicing the threes times table with some marching. One, two, three. three. Four, five, six. six. Seven, eight, nine. nine. 10, 11, 12. The when the child uh, gets to do this a few times, they do not need to whisper it and they get the feel of what threes are. They get the essence of what the three times tables are. And the whispering in between the three numbers helps them because they already often know how to count that high, but they're just learning which numbers they're skipping as they recite the threes times table. Starting with the first grade, I also use hand clapping. The way I begin it is by teaching the rhythm that we use. And you can get much more complicated with the eighth graders and they have a lot of fun with that. So. You ready? Together, clap, right, clap, left, clap, together. After you do that a few times with your child, then you can say the numbers. So it would look like this. Three is one times three. Six is two times three. Nine is three times three. So we also do hand clapping with older children at Oak Meadow. For the older child, sometimes it's hard to get them into their lesson. And if they move, if they breathe, and if they start having fun, it, it will be easier for them to concentrate. So this is one of the exercises I do with the older children. Boom, snap, clap. Boom, boom, snap, clap, snap. Boom, snap, clap. Boom, boom, snap, shh. Boom, snap, clap. Boom, boom, snap, clap, snap. Boom, snap, clap. Boom, boom, snap, shh. Both hands. Boom, snap, clap. Boom, boom, snap, clap, snap. Boom, snap, clap. Boom, boom, snap, shh. Another thing Oak Meadow recommends is using bean bags to help. This takes a little practice, but it can be a lot of fun. For the younger ones, I have them tossing it up and catching it. Toss up and catching it. And they can practice counting this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. The next step would be to switch from one hand to another. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can also use the bean bags to practice times tables. This is one way you can practice your twos times table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another way to practice any times table is with this more challenging bean bag toss. With one hand, you throw the bean bag up in the air, and then you switch the other bean bag into that first hand. I'll show you again. Up, switch, up, switch. And this is how it would sound with the threes times table. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, and so on. Another beanbag toss involves a partner. In this one, I will toss my beanbag to Claudine and she will toss it back to me and we will say our times tables while we're doing it. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. So this is also great for hand-eye coordinating as well as getting the child into their body as they learn the times tables. So to make math really fun in the morning, it gets even more complicated and more challenging. So this is the one that I do where each of us are holding their own, our own bean bag and I will count quietly so I know that we'll start at the same time. We'll go one, two, three, 
three, six, six nine, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. These are just some of the great activities we use at Oak Meadow to start the day and be ready for learning. Thanks for watching. Bye.